Let's take a look at this. We call this a pot before, but is this a teapot? No. Is it a cooking pot? No. No, what kind of pot is this? Can someone raise their hand and tell me? I have a hard time hearing unless I see a hand. Yes. Wait, guess again. What kind of pot is this? I hear it. Flower pot. It's a flower pot. How do we know? What was your clue? What was your clue? Yes. Sure, there are holes on the bottom, and what are those holes for? Let's have two people raise their hand and give me two different suggestions. Ooh, yes. Um, for for the water to come out. Great. So water comes out, and then there's something else these holes do for our plant. Yes. The roof. The roof could come out. Yes, but something's going in the pot. It's all around us. Air. Oh, I can't hear unless you raise your hand. It's a problem I have. Yes. Air comes in, right? Baby plant roots need air, okay? So what we're going to do with our pots, we're just going to put a plant in them? What else are we missing? Soil. Soil. We need soil, okay? So this is where I need your guys' help. We're going to help the pears. We're going to pass this down. I want you guys to scoop and then shake right over the pot. Now wait, before we do it, I want to tell you something about this. Does everybody see this baby plant? Yeah. Are the roots very small or are the roots quite large? They're small. Look at baby roots. Okay, so when you guys are scooping your soil, if you push it down, if you squeeze it down, those baby roots are going to get stuck. They won't be able to grow. So when you guys get your soil, you're just going to scoop and shake. It's going to be nice and loose and soft. All right? Everybody ready for that? Three times? Okay. All right, so it's just two by two. All right, guys, you ready to shake? Deep scoop. You can help yourself out with a little bit of it. There we go. And now shake it down. Scoot on the first try. You're going to add a little bit more to your Keep shaking. Good, and when you're all set, you're planting your finger, you're your finger, and you're going to go right in the middle of your pot and make a swirl and make a hole that's big enough for your basil. Now your basil is not going to grow all the way to China, so you just need to put it right in the top and then go around and around and make it wide enough for that basil plus. So all the roots can fit, okay? And when you have your hole, let me just do a quick eyeball check. Good, I'm going to make it a little more in the middle. So then you tuck it in. Just tuck it in the bed, okay? You ready? You're going to tickle your roots. Tickle your roots with your planting finger and then bury it nice and deep. Tickle those roots and then you're going to bury it. Bury it nice and deep. Gentle. Oh, that looks very good and tickled. Yeah, now don't forget, remember, you can do it very deep. So take your fingers and push that down. What else? 
else do they need? Water. And they need one more thing. Sunlight. Sunlight. Very good. So when you take your plant home, are you going to go home and put it in the closet? No. 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 You're going to go home and put it on a nice sunny windowsill. Okay, but don't forget. Okay. I don't need to because I have, I have a um, back here. No, not a back here. A porch. A porch. Good. So you want to put it on a nice sunny porch, a nice sunny windowsill, a nice sunny backyard. Now, boys and girls. We, we forgot one very important thing when we were potting up our plants, and that was to make sure we know what parts of the plant we have with us. Okay, so let's take a look. You can look at your plant, you can look at mine. You guys can just say it out loud. What's growing down here? Roots. Good. And what's long and tall and strong right above them? Stem. Stem. Good. And from the stem, we're getting leaves. So, boys and girls, who are going to tell me what's missing? Let's think about it. Let's think deeply. We have two very important plant parts that I don't see at all. What's one of them? Parts of the plant. It's true, we need to water them, but parts of the plant. We have roots to anchor them. We have a stem to grow up tall. We have leaves that are getting sugar from the sun, and there are two more things that we need. What? Fruit. Right, we don't have any fruit, and even before fruit, what do we need? Seeds. Seeds that grow inside the fruit. It's true, Thank you, Scarlett. The whole reason for being is to grow those seeds, but we need one more thing that's going to grow to make those seeds happen. Oh, that's so easy. Air. We do need air to help plants grow, but what part of the plant? What plant part? Everyone was telling me all about the roses that they grow, but we've somehow forgotten that plant Flowers. part. Roots. What was it? Flowers. Flowers. Thank you, boys and girls. The roots, help me out here, the roots anchor the plant, right? And then out of the root comes the well, first the stem, we need to put the flower on something. Then, then the leaves. Leaves. And then the leaves get enough sugar and energy that they can grow a flower. And then the bees go to the flower, and from the flower we get our fruit. And inside the fruit is the seeds. The seeds. Good. All right, so boys and girls, you can take your plants home with you and give them a good drink of water and put them in the sun. And then you're going to eat them.